Hi, my name is Blash and I'm a product manager in Metril. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly test a class 2 appliance, which is in our case an electric angle grinder, using the MI3360M Omega Pad XA, an appliance tester from Metril. So for today's presentation, we're going to be using our test instrument and additional test lid equipped with a crocodile clip. Uh, we will also uh, use one small gadget and this is uh, this uh, battery operated QR uh, barcode scanner. If you want to fully examine and test an electric angle grinder, we first have to make sure that the testing is safe. Therefore, it is crucial that we first remove the cutting or grinding wheel. After we make sure that the device is safe for testing, we have to determine which parts will be the subject of the test and which test will be used for electrical examination. Before we start testing, we check the rating plate of this appliance, from which we can see that this is a genuine class 2 appliance. This indicates us this uh, double square symbol which stands for double insulation and uh, tells us that we have no connection to protective earth. As we now know that the appliance is double insulated, we know that the protective earth test will not be applicable, but instead of it, we will perform the following tests. Insulation resistance test with a probe and a touch leakage test, uh, for which probe is also applicable. For both tests, it is crucial that are performed with the appliance main switch in the on position. It is also important that the probe is connected to the accessible metal part. If not so, then the electrical tests are invalid as the potentially problematic or dangerous voltage or current that could appear on the metal parts will not be detected by the instrument. Each examination of electrical equipment must consist of a thorough visual inspection, which is in some cases even the only applicable test option. So before we proceed with electrical testing, we will first perform a thorough visual check. So we have to check that the uh, cable is in good condition, as well as the mains plug, uh, then the inlet of the cable main switch and also the other parts of the angle grinder have to be in good position uh, in good condition after we make this check we will proceed with the actual electrical testing now we first connect this uh, probe that we will use for measuring of insulation resistance with probe and for the leakage test we attach the probe to the metal part of our uh, angle grinder and uh, we connect this uh, plug to our mains test socket. We now enter the auto sequence menu and inside the main folder we search for an appropriate test sequence. Of course, this is in our case test sequence for class 2 appliance with insulation resistance test and the touch leakage. Uh, to make sure that the selected test sequence is uh, correct, we press on the view and check the parameters of the auto sequence. So we see now that we have here insulation resistance test uh, with a probe and the touch leakage test. Um, the touch leakage test will also tell us that the device itself is uh, functioning properly because uh, it will actually run the appliance during the test. We adjust the limits. Uh, we see that the test will be make, uh, made with the reverse polarity and that the limit for the touch current is also according to standard. After this adjustment are, adjustments are made, we simply start the test sequence. The first part of the test sequence is the visual inspection. So we already made this and we simply confirm the result and proceed with testing. The second test is the insulation resistance test and the instrument uh, gave us uh, a warning here that the on-off switch was not in the closed position. 
So we close the on-off switch and proceed with the insulation resistance test. After this test will be finished, we will proceed with the touch leakage test. Our electrical examination of uh, the grinder is now uh, finished and uh, we can also confirm that it was uh, operating properly and finish our test sequence. All we have to do now is to save the results uh, in the memory structure. To save the test results of our um, electrical examination, we simply press save and uh, we jump into the structure of uh, our memory where we can of course uh, create location project uh, and add a specific appliance and uh, in our case we will add uh, this uh, regular appliance to which we will also um, dedicate an appliance id number uh, id number of this appliance will be entered via the uh, bluetooth uh, scanner so we simply use this uh, Bluetooth scanner and we read the appliance's ID. So now we have the ID inside, we have the name, we can adjust the retest period if we want, test date and retest date will be calculated automatically. So we press on create and save. And uh, we can use our data for printing of labels or professional test reports using our PC software, Electrical Safety Manager. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.